Hey guys, so I just woke up. Um, it's about 10. But I have some errands to run, so I need to fix my nails. They were like out of control. So right now I just have like the oil like soaking in. And I've been loving this um, Formula X, the prescription. What is this? Oh, the strengthening prescription. So it comes with like a base coat, um, like a really sheer color, a top coat, and like an oil. There we go. Um, and this is like 10 bucks at Sephora. So I'm just letting this oil soak. You kind of just like rip it out, click it, and then it screws out like this. I don't know, I think it's really cute actually. So I'm just going to finish doing my nails, and then it's snowing outside right now. I'm in my pajamas. Go Gryffindor. I'm drinking my peppermint tea. Ready to go. I'll probably leave in like an hour and get some stuff done. So it's in the car now and it is fucking, there's snow, I'm so annoyed. Like we finally lost all of our snow and it's snowing now. Um, I am on my way to the hardware store because I want to paint my bathroom. It's like, <laughs> it's like a slate gray, right? No, it's like a slate blue. But I want it to be like more light and more like neutral. Um, it's kind of like over the blue. Um, so I'm just going to go and pick up some samples and see what's going on. Okay, so I don't want to break you in there because I figured, like, it's a really small store. And I figured they would, like, yell at me. So, <laughs> okay, so I got three samples. And I got, so this last one here, which is called Revere Pewter. These are all bench from more paints. This middle one here, which is called, what is it? Annapolis Gray. Whatever. And then this last one, I got Big Ben Beige at the end. So I kind of wanted to get, like, like a neutral grayish type of thing and then like a little bit like more warm of one like a little bit more cool of one but I realized I forgot something and so I'm gonna go to Home Depot because I don't feel like going back in there because the guy was like trying to sell me on like a rewards card and I was like not feeling it so I'm just gonna go to Home Depot where I feel comfortable sorry I can't really like film outside shit it's snowing and I don't want my camera to get all fucked I just left the happiest place on earth Home Deeps I'm just in Michael's getting a chance to make plenty things. Um, so, her birthday today and her present is really shaping up. Oh my god, you guys. So, I was just in Michael's. I'm like trying to get stuff. Okay, so Jen's birthday is today. I, mean, I already have stuff for her, but I want to like finish it up. She like plans all the time, and so I tried to get her some like planning things. So, I'm like trying to film in there. And like, I get it, like, I have like a camera. And some, like, freak mom was like, are you recording? Like, because I was, like, in, like, the coloring book section. Um, like, walking through, like, trying to find the shit. And she was, like, all up in my fucking face. And then... I know I shouldn't have gone in there because I parked next to someone I knew, from, like, a long time ago. But, like, not in a good way. And I was just, like, all set. And then the person who rang me up was just a freak. But, um... She's like, what are you working on? Like, shut the fuck up. I'm not gonna show you what I got for Jen yet. But for myself, I got, like, this little thing. It says, if I do say so. It's, like, it was, like, $1.50 with, like, this notepad. And what I want to do is have it next to my bed. Because when I, like, when I'm going to bed, I always have, like, the craziest thoughts. And, like, I don't want to get up to, like, my planner. Um, or, like, there might be things, like, I don't even have to plan. They're just, like, weird ideas. And I feel like I just want to have that next to my bed. I feel like it'd be wicked funny for like when I have too many drinks, <laughs> my ideas, but... So, I'm mad pumped because, um, I just emailed my last assignment before the spring break. Not emailed, I just dropped it off. So now I'm officially on spring break, which doesn't really mean anything, I'm not going away, but... I'm seeing some leftover pasta, look at this. <laughs> I, I won't eat the whole thing. It was leftovers from last night. I just, like, pick at it for the next few days. I think. So everything I, like, needed to get done, I got done. Like, I went to the hardware store, I got the paint. I got Jen's gift. I dropped off my assignment. I feel like I'm gonna, like, clean my room or something. Or, like start to wash the bathroom, like the walls and stuff, that way I can just like go in and paint or like paint the samples. 
That's what I'll do now. I think I'll paint the samples. You... The sliding is so much better. And I, I had the camera in like the grossest position in the car. I had like the biggest double chin, whatever. Okay, so I have Annapolis Gray here, um, Revere Pewter here, and then the Big Ben Beige here. So I want to get something that's like a little cooler, a little warmer, and a little bit in between. Um, so like, on camera they come out all decent, and you can really see the difference, but like in here, they look, they, these two look very pinky. And I don't know what it is. I think it's just the lighting is so poor in here. Um, I think I'm leaning more toward the Revere Pewter in the middle. Um, it's a little bit neutral, but it's pretty... There's enough beige in it that I like it. It's light enough. Um, that's what I'm thinking so far. So, I'm just going to wash my makeup brushes because they were really, really disgusting last time I wanted to do my makeup. And I like, couldn't do it. <laughs> so... Um, I'm just going to wash them, and I want to show you what I use. So, to start, I go in with this Dr. Bronner's um, Pure Castile Soap, and I get mine in the scent Peppermint. Um, this is actually the small one. This is the 18 ounce, and you can get this at, like, Target or Whole Foods or whatever. I got mine at Whole Foods for about, yeah, like I said, like 6 or $7. And the big size is, like, double, and I think it's, like, 14 and then I go in with the um, Sephora brand antibacterial formula um, brush shampoo. And it's just a little thing like this. I think I spent about like six dollars on it. And so I just mix the two together because I don't think the Dr. Barnes is antibacterial. Uh, it does a really great job at like cleaning and everything. But there's nothing actually like antibacterial about it. So I kind of just like mix them both together. So I think I'm going to start with my foundation brush. This is the Morphe. Um, M439 is seen some <laughs> wear and tear, so I'm just gonna go in some warm water. And it kind of will just like dampen the end like that. Then I'll take a little bit of the castile soap in my hands and just like set it like right on it. Then I start to swish it around. Just to loosen everything up. And it's already starting to come off of my hands. Wow. There is a lot. I'm going to try and keep the water like at the end of the bristles. That way it's not like messing up the glue. So for foundation brushes or like bronzing brushes, things like I use a lot. So that's only like one quick little wash. So like everything isn't really gone, but I wanted to get the majority off. So I'm going to go in with the second round, doing the exact same thing, and then go in with the antibacterial wash as well. And now see, it's all clean. It looks good as new. So I do have one of those um, like real techniques. So you can get them like from Sigma or whatever, those like things you put in your hand and they have like the grooves. I do have one of those, but I did, didn't want to use it today because I'm lazy. So if you guys ever want to see like a full, like how I clean my brushes, like routine, I would love to do that. Um, just let me know. <sighs> just leaving Target. Oh wow, I'm looking ragged. Um, I have some groceries and then some things for Kim's birthday. Um, that's coming up in a few days, so. Um, it is like a full moon outside or something. People are being so crazy. Which is why I actually ate them all. Um, that's it. Sorry, people are being so crazy. I like, couldn't even film in there. There were so many people in there. I, um, got this, like, body armor thing. Because I haven't been feeling too well. But you know what else I got? Was the non-dairy Ben & Jerry's PB&J thing. So excited. I was looking for this everywhere. Um, it's vanilla and chocolate sandwich cookies and crunchy peanut butter swirls. Pumped. You guys, I had to show you that I stopped it exactly at 10 without even trying. Ah, amazing. So I think I'm going to cut this off here. It's about, it's only about 8.15, but I, I I'm about to go out, so I need to get changed and get ready and stuff like that. But yeah, so I guess that is an average day of what I would do when all my friends are working. <laughs> because 
I actually love running errands alone. It's like something I really enjoy. So I'm glad I got to take you guys along with me for a little bit. Um, hopefully my orders will be in for next Friday so I can do another sit down video with you guys. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.